Hi guys, my name is Kristen. I am a home-based lash artist and I am here to give you all the tips and tricks for starting your own lash business. So let's just get into the video. Welcome back. So today we are going to go over three key things in getting your lash business started at home. So um, I'm going to go over a couple that I feel are very, um, one, important, but also you should be doing this. If you're not doing this, you need to change your life. Um, but also I wanted to give you guys this information to um, obviously help you grow your business. So. Um, number one is obviously make sure your space is clean for your clients. So personally, I like to have, so I actually have um, a um, the bed. You guys are on the bed. Uh, my tripod is on the bed. <laughs> so um, obviously I work from my living room. So it is important to make sure your living space looks clean and almost unlived in. Um, so I obviously have nothing on the um, coffee table except for my remotes and they're like cutely put over there uh, my couch is all organized the pillows look unused they are nice and fluffy and put in the way that they are supposed to be in um, and then I have a throw blanket on the end of the couch um, and it kind of just makes sure that everything ties into each other and looks nice and tidy um, when my clients walk in this wall is actually the front door so they can see my stairs right here i chose black carpet if you own a house and you're renovating do not get black carpet if you have animals i thought it was gonna be great for stains you're not gonna be able to see me stains which is true however uh dog hair and cat hair shows up uh so easily so what i like to do is just give it a quick vacuum so that you cannot tell that the cat lays up there because she likes to lay up there and make a mess. So um, that is something that I recommend. Just make sure your space looks tidy. Okay, so also if you are able to see into your kitchen, which this is my kitchen, um, make sure that it is clean and tidy. Obviously this is like the um, number one rule for working from home, making sure your space is clean and tidy for your clients so they don't feel like they're coming into some dingy lady's house uh, or man's house. Um, so my countertops are cleared off, the dishes are clean, um, of course if you have a couple dishes in the sink, like a plate and a cup um, that you didn't get to because your client arrived 15 minutes early, which often happens to me, that's no big deal, obviously they wouldn't be able to see that, but if you have dishes overflowing, clean your dishes. It's not that hard, it takes 15 minutes and that's it, um, and your space looks nice and tidy. Uh, no clutter on the countertops, no clutter on your kitchen table. Um, my kitchen table is right there. I don't think you can see it at all. Um, but it just has a cute little centerpiece. It's a big jar that has candles in it. The candles are battery powered, so it looks really cute when you turn them on and nice little ambiance. Uh, tip number two is to have a nice selection of music for your clients. I personally have direct TV. My TV is like right there. Um, and I like to have it on the country station. It is a free um, thing that DirecTV offers. Obviously, I already pay for DirecTV, um, but it's nice. It doesn't have any commercials or anything like that. You don't have to worry about listening to commercials or paying extra for your uh, music. I personally uh, like to play some country music. I think that, well, I live in Arizona and oddly enough, a lot of uh, Arizonians, I guess, um, like country music, but also I think it's a great station or a great genre of music to make your clients feel comfortable. It's very laid back um, and it's easy to tune out. So if you have a client who's not particularly into country, it's kind of easy to zone out very easy to fall asleep to. Most of it's not uh, super crazy. It's very soft. So that is why I chose um, country music. The third important thing um, in being a lash, home-based lash artist is to have a cohesive theme. So take your Instagram and bring it home. 
What I mean by that is my Instagram is very cohesive. It's very pink. Um, and I brought that into my space. So not only am I portraying the pink and the persona that they see on Instagram, so that allows them to feel comfortable with me, but also I'm bringing that into my space. So my sheets are pink. I have a pink blanket. All of my little tools are pink. I have pink spoolies to give my clients. And this makes them feel like they're getting the brand. They're getting the experience of maybe going to a lash studio, but they're coming to somebody's home. This is a comfortable space. It is not um, a judgmental space. And that is super important for your clients, obviously to feel comfortable with you. So I recommend um, if you have a theme um, to bring it into your space, your clients will love it. And I always joke when um, people comment on my pink hair and they're like, oh, your hair is so cute. And I'm like, yeah, it's on brand. I'm on brand. <laughs> Gotta stay on brand because that makes your clients feel like they already know you. And that's so important when they're coming to your house. All right, you guys, those are my three tips to being a home-based lash artist. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any further questions about um, being a home lash artist, definitely let me know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.